Good evening, children. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening, children. So this is the uh, paper which we just finished in the last class. So we'll just go through these uh, questions. So in the first one, uh, we were given uh, two formulae. In the first question, we were given two formulae. Uh, one to find the sign of an angle and the other formula to find the cos of an angle. See, we were given two formulae. One, two. Using this, uh, we had to find the value of sine 15 degrees. And using this, we had to find the value of cos 15 degrees. So we have sine A minus B. So we said let uh, A be equal to 45 degrees and B be 35, 30 degrees. Let A be 45 degrees, B be 30 degrees. So 45 minus 30 is 15 degrees. So like that, we found the value of sine 15 degrees and similarly cos 15 degrees. In the next question, uh, we were given one trigonometric ratio tan theta. So given tan theta, we had to find the values of the other t ratios of theta. So the other uh, trigonometric ratios of theta are sine theta, cos theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cot theta. And cot theta. So when we have tan theta, we immediately have cot theta also because the reciprocal of tan theta the reciprocal of tan theta is cot theta. So if tan theta is 2 mn by m square minus n square, then cot theta is equal to m square minus n square by 2 mn. So we have cot theta then. So now if you find sine, its reciprocal is cosecant. And when you find cos, its reciprocal is secant. And uh, to find the other t ratios of theta, uh, we understood that uh, we can use a right triangle or use trigonometric identities. To find the other t ratios of theta, you can use a right triangle. You can use a right triangle. We are given the tan theta. What is uh, tan theta connect? It connects the opposite side and the adjacent side. Tan theta is equal to opposite by adjacent. So mark of any one angle, any one acute angle is theta. Mark of any one acute angle is theta. This is this is a right triangle. This is the right angle. So the remaining two angles are acute angles. You can mark any one of the two acute angles as theta. And now if you mark this as theta, for this angle, this is the opposite side. And this will be the adjacent side. This is the hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. So now tan theta is opposite by adjacent. So this is 2 mn by adjacent. This is m square minus n square. So here tan theta is equal to opposite side by the adjacent side. So it's 2 mn by m square minus n square. So the opposite side is 2 mn and the adjacent side is m square minus n square. And then we have to find the value of the hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. We need to find the value of the hypotenuse using Pythagoras theorem. Once you know the three sides, the values of the three sides of the right triangle, you can use the trigonometric ratio. That is the now when sine theta connects the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So you can use the relationships between the sides. And the acute angle and uh, establish the other values. Other T ratios. So when one when you're given the value of one trigonometric ratio, and if you have to find the other trigonometric ratios of theta, use a right triangle, mark of any one acute angle as theta. And here tan theta is given so you can fill the opposite and the adjacent side. Use Pythagoras theorem to find the hypotenuse. Now you know all the three sides of the right triangle. And we know the definitions of the T ratio. Sine theta is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. 
uh, cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse. So we know these definitions. Use these definitions to get the values of the other T ratios of theta. This is one method or else you can use the uh, trigonometric identities. You can also use the trigonometric identities to find the other T ratios of theta. So we already worked this one. I shared both the methods with you. I shared both the methods with you. This is using the right triangle and the uh, alternate method is to, uh, is to use uh, trigonometric identities. And the most important, uh, you know, uh, I, algebraic identity used here. The most important algebraic identity here is A plus B the whole square minus A minus B the whole square is equal to 4AB. So sometimes you have to use it like this or sometimes it is A plus B the whole square minus 4AB is equal to A minus B the whole square. You can transpose and get different identities. Or a minus B the whole square plus 4AB is equal to A plus B the whole square. On transposing, you get all this. One minute. A plus B the whole square minus A minus B the whole square is equal to 4AB. <clears throat> now when you, so this is, this is the identity. On transposing, we get others. So you take this to the uh, left hand side. So then you get A plus B the whole square is equal to A minus B the whole square plus 4AB when you transpose this. Or A minus B the whole square plus 4AB is equal to A plus B the whole square. Now when you bring this here, now we've written A plus B the whole square is this. What is A minus B the whole square? A minus B the whole square. Since this is negative, we'll take this here and we'll bring this one here. We'll bring this here. So take this to the RHS. So what is A minus B the whole square? A minus B the whole square is equal to A plus B the whole square. A plus B the whole square. And this one, when it travels to the left hand side, minus 4AB. Minus 4AB. So identities uh, save time. If you don't use the identity, now I'll tell you. If you say don't use the identity and uh, show you in one case. Now supposing here, here, all right. Now here, uh, say you don't use the identity. Using the identity, we are able to directly write 4m square n square. If you don't use identity, not that you cannot get this answer. You will have to expand using the formula. So what is m square plus n square the whole square? It's like a plus b the whole square. So a square plus b square plus 2ab. 2ab. You'll have to expand this. If you don't use the identity, you'll have to expand this. Again, you'll have to use an identity to expand this. a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. And here, a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So it will be, and there's a minus sign outside here, so I'll write it. Uh, you know, uh, meaning you expand this and then when you multiply all the terms with the minus outside that this is what you will get. So you will get minus m to the power 4 minus n to the power 4 plus 2m square n square. OK, when you expand it, then open the bracket. Multiply all the terms with the minus outside. This is what you will get. Then next step, uh, this gets cancelled plus n to the power 4 minus n to the power 4 cancels and 2 m square n square plus 2 m square n square is 4 m square n square. So you can still get the same result. You will get it. You have to expand. Expand and simplify, you will get it. But your intention should be to learn something new. So don't be happy with what you already know. When you use this identity, you're saving a little time. You're saving a little time and you're also getting used to something new. <clears throat> so you can, you can, you know, uh, work it without using the identity also by just expanding, expanding and simplifying. You will get 4m square n square. 
But here we have used the identity A plus B. This is like A plus B the whole square. This is like A plus B the whole square minus A minus B the whole square. So straight away it is 4AB, 4M square M square. So this identity is important. So here this is again now. Uh, here the idea here is. What we understand through this answer is that uh, to find sine theta and cos theta. We need to first identify the triangle in which we have theta. This is the triangle in which we have theta. This is the triangle in which we have theta. So we need to know all the sides of this triangle to find sine, sine theta and cos theta. Or we need to know all the sides of this triangle to find the values of sine theta and cos theta. So that's what we've been finding here using Pythagoras theorem. So what is all this? The answer is only here. Sine theta is equal to, uh, sorry, this one. Sine theta is this and uh, cos theta here. So what's all this? What's all this? Just finding the unknown sides of this right triangle. Finding the unknown sides of this right triangle. That's all. Sine theta, cos theta. We need to find this. Identify the triangle which has this acute angle theta. So this is the triangle ABC. Do we know all the sides of this triangle? No, we do not know. Which is the side we know? We know only BC is A by 2. We do not know the length of AB and AC. So we have to first find AB and AC. And how do we find them? Using Pythagoras theorem. That's what we've done here and here. So that's very simple for you. Applying Pythagoras theorem and finding the unknown sides of a right triangle is not new to you. That's very easy. And here is the answer, sine theta. Opposite by hypotenuse, cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse. That's all. Here I told you that uh, <clears throat> when tan A is given, when I, see again here, a trigonometric ratio is given to you. Tan A is equal to 2. The value of a trigonometric ratio is given to you. So using that and a right triangle, you can find the values of the other T ratios. Tan A is equal to 2. Use a right triangle to represent this information. Tan A is equal to 2. Represent this information in a right triangle. Use Pythagoras theorem. Find the missing side. And find sin A secant A, tan A and cosecant A. Find the values of the ratios. Sin A secant A, tan A. Tan A is given cosecant A. Using the right triangle, you find these values. Use the values and evaluate. Simple. Otherwise, uh, to find the values of, uh, you know, sine A, secant A and cosecant A, you can also use trigonometric identities. You can use identities and find the value of sine A, secant See, easy, easy or time-saving method is right triangle. But you should also be curious to, you know, at home, you should be curious to solve it using the identities also. Right triangle is the fastest. Again, you can maybe, you know, with practice do it faster using any method. That's a different thing. But for most of us, uh, a right triangle will help us get the values in less time. So when, you know, one the value of one T ratio is given, you can find the others using a right triangle. Or you can find the other values, the values of the other T ratios using trigonometric identities. So that's what we did. Uh, we found we, uh, you know, we took up a right triangle and uh, we know that tan tan A connects the opposite side and the adjacent side, opposite and adjacent side. So opposite is two, adjacent is one. Two meaning two by one. Two meaning two by one. Opposite is two, adjacent is one. So make sure that you don't mark A here. A is not the right angle in the triangle. A is one of the acute angles. A is one of the two acute angles. So I told you, you can mark A here. You can call it, yeah, here you call it ABC because we have tan A. So ABC, you can mark A here or here. Not the right angle. So if you mark A here, this is the opposite side. For A, this is the opposite side and this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse. 
So what is the first task all, always? We know these two sides, two and one. We don't know the hypotenuse. So use Pythagoras theorem and find the hypotenuse. So we found the hypotenuse, root five. Now what? You need sine A, secant A, and cosecant A. What is sine A? Opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse, two by root five. What is secant A? How do you find secant A? Hypotenuse by adjacent. Hypotenuse by adjacent, root five by one. Root five by one. So use the right triangle and the relationship between the T ratios and the sides. Find the other values. What do we, you need? You need uh, sine, secant, and cosecant. Find them. Substitute, evaluate. So it's that easy. So that, you know, that uh, that one uh, introduction uh, video, uh, videos, oh, no, no, that one introduction uh, uh, lesson plan or playlist link, which I shared with you is very important. That has everything. That has an introduction to the whole chapter. So you must be good with that. If you're good with that, everything is easy. If you don't have the introduction correct, then everything will seem difficult, though they are not. So this was an interesting one, simple and interesting. So what we do here is. So class, use the emoji, raise your hand. Tarun Murali, Nandini, Ananya, Kanishka, Rajeshwari, Ramnadan, Hitesh, Sneha, Harini. Okay, Priyanka, just voice up that you're there. Priyanka? Can you hear me, Priyanka? So here, children, in this question, uh, uh, we have to find the values of A, B, and C. We have to find the values of A, B, and C. Now, what can you replace one with? What can you replace one with? In terms of sign. Sine 90. Sine 90 degrees. See, you can even say tan 45 degrees is 1, but it's not relevant to the situation because you're given sine of A plus B plus C is equal to 1. So here you don't write it's equal to tan 45 degrees. Tan 45 is 1. But since, since we have the ratio sine on the other side, we'll write this in terms of sine. So sine 90. Sine 90 degrees. When you compare both the sides, you get A plus B plus C is equal to 90. And then here, when is it 1 by root 3 in the tan table? Tan 30 degrees. Ma'am, can tan... you repeat what you said again? Oh, hi Priyanka. Yes, ma'am. I went to drink water, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Priyanka. What's your question? Um, you were saying something, Mamam. Can you repeat that again? Sure, sure. Uh, now, Priyanka, uh, can you just tell me what we are doing in this class? Trigonometry, Mamam. Okay. What else can you say about what's happening in the class? Are we doing something new? Yes, ma'am. So oh, you did not attend the last class, is it? Yes, ma'am. And uh, you didn't uh, watch the recording also? I watched some of it, ma'am. Why were you not able to take up the last class? Ma'am, I had technical issues, ma'am. Then you should have made sure that you you know, you watch the video because it's updated on the same day. Earlier, I used to do it the next day. But now, since I see many absentees in every class, uh, I finish dinner and I download the meeting recording and uh, upload immediately. The same night, I do it. So the playlist link is updated. 
two hours after the session, it's updated. I'll watch it within today, ma'am. No, my see, my concern is I can repeat it. You know, that's my job. But uh, the thing is, you, you may be feeling uncomfortable when you're not able to understand. Uh, the thing is, we have already discussed these answers in the last class, Priyanka. We were not discussed. We we understood. I've explained all this in the last class and the class before that. I think we took two classes for this. And uh, I thought before I move on to the next presentation, I'll just uh, you know brush up whatever we understood so far. Please watch the recording uh, before the next class, Priyanka. Next class by next class, make sure that you watch the introduction videos uh, to trigonometry as well as the meeting recordings. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So uh, in the sign table, Priyanka, when do you, where do you find the value one? See here, sign zero degrees is zero. Sine 30 degrees is 1 by 2. Sine 45 degrees is 1 by root 2. Sine 60 degrees is root 3 by 2. Sine 90 degrees is 1. So sine 90 is 1, which means you can replace 1 with, you can replace this 1. Sine of A plus B plus C is equal to 1, which means sine 90 degrees. So on comparing both the sides, we find A plus B plus C is 90. It's not that sign and sign gets cancelled, but you can just see that in your mind. It's like as if you know you cancel these two. So A plus B plus C is equal to 90. But in reality, you're not supposed to cancel it like that. On comparing both the sides, A plus B plus C is equal to 90. Similarly, in the tan table, tan 0 degrees is 0, tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3. So we have tan of a minus b is equal to 1 by root 3 given. Now 1 by root 3 can be written as tan 30 degrees. Tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3. So instead of 1 by root 3, you can write tan 30 degrees. Now when you compare both the sides, a minus b is equal to 30 degrees. So we have one equation a plus b plus c is 90. This is the other one a minus b is 30. Then the third one secant of a plus c is equal to 2. So secant is a reciprocal of cos. So in cos table, it will be 1 by 2. And, and it's 1 by 2 in the cos table when cos is uh, cos of 60 degrees is 1 by 2. That means secant 60 is 2. Cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2. So secant 60 degrees will be 2, the reciprocal of that. So secant A plus C is equal to secant 60 degrees. On comparing both the sides, A plus C is equal to 60. So this is about this question. Then you know you should know how to solve it. Go through your working. So this was one question where uh, you know we used uh, trigonometric identities and uh, we used the uh, concept of comp uh, trigonometric ratios of complementary angles and we also used uh, the values from the table. So this is this is a question we where we use uh, different parts of uh, trigonometry. So part theta, what is tan 90 minus theta children? Or stand 90 minus theta. Pop theta. Tarun Murali, Nandini. Yes, ma'am. Panishka, Raja Rajeshwari, Ramanadan, Hitesh, Sneha, Harini, Shreyas, Tarun. Yes. All of you should participate. This is a very important chapter. Yes, yes. Well, ma'am. you all to answer. Tell me what is tan 90 minus theta? 
Yeah, I got it from you, Ananya. What about the others? Minus, what is secant 90 minus theta? Cosecant theta. Rajesh, what is it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, cosecant theta. Into cosecant theta. Into cosecant theta plus uh, the next part is sine squared 65 degrees plus sine squared 25 degrees. Now I told you 65 degrees and 25 degrees are not standard angles. Class, lower your hands. Now each one of you, please unmute yourself and tell me if you're following the class because I'm scared if you all watch the introduction videos. I shared it long back. Yes, one by one, unmute yourself, Murli Krishna. Hitesh. Yes, Murli Krishna. Have you gone through? Have you watched all the videos? Yes, ma'am. You understood them? No answer. Hitesh? Hitesh, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Please tell me, are you sure about the introduction to tr uh, trigonometry? Yes, ma'am. Watched all the videos? Then why are you not participating? Mom, I have some mic problem, so sometimes it's working and sometimes it's not working. Yeah, you're tired uh, from school, so you're just saving the, saving your energy, is it? Already had a hectic day at school, so. Try to say no. It's okay when I, at least uh, the times when I'm able to hear, I'll be happy. Mom, I'll rectify it in the next class and I'll start to answer. Yeah. Thank you. Kanishka? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please tell me if you watched all the videos and if you're sure, meaning good with the introduction to trigonometry. Yes, ma'am. Then why are you not participating? Here after we do, ma'am. Why, Kanishka? You were one of the active participants last year. You don't remember? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, then what happened to you this year? No, I'm not sure, do ma'am. Yeah, please, thank you. Yeah, Nandini? Yes, ma'am. Same question. Watched all the videos? Yes, ma'am. This is uh, the introduction to trigonometry? Yes, ma'am. Then why are you not participating? Ma'am, I'll try to do, ma'am. Yeah, Priyanka? I watched the videos, ma'am, when I did okay. the assignment. Rajeshwari? I have watched all the videos, ma'am. You are sure about the concepts, right? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Ramnathan? Yes, ma'am. I watched all the videos. All that which was explained there, you're sure you understood them well? Yes, ma'am. Good. Sneha Harini? Ma'am, we watched uh, before few days, ma'am, but we are not confident in that, so we have to rewatch it now. 
Yeah, yeah, that's important. Yes. It's not enough if you watch it once. You must watch. Yes. And, uh, you, have, you have anyways uh, completed the assignment. So you must uh, rewatch till you understand because the videos are very uh, short and crisp. It's it's meaning I've not made them very lengthy. And like I repeat in the class here, I have not repeated there in the videos. So I keep going ahead. I have not repeated consciously in the videos there. Consciously I've not repeated because then it's going to become very big and it's you know boring to watch it again. So I'm not there is no repetition at all. I keep going ahead with the explanation. So which means uh, uh, you know you need to rewatch the videos. You watch it many times, the introduction will be clear to you. Shreyas and Tarun. Yeah, Shreyas and Tarun Murali. Uh, I watched it man. What the videos. Shreyas. Yes, ma'am, I to watch the video. Okay, then I request all of you to participate. Nobody is answering. Except Ananya sometimes. Exams are going on, is it Shreyas and Tarun? Yes, ma'am, next week. Next week it's about to happen. Yeah, so. So this one, this one is sine square 65 degrees, sine square 25 degrees. So 65 and 25 are not standard angles. So you cannot get their values from the sign table. 65 and 25 are not standard angles. You cannot find these values in the sign table. So how to evaluate this part? So it should occur to you sign square. All the identities, all the trigonometric identities uh, go like this. You know, see if sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. Cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is one. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is one. So when you read something with a square, so sine square 65 plus sine square 25, you must understand or realize that. This should be converted to look like this identity. Sine square theta plus cos square theta for which you must make this 25 degrees, 65 degrees and the sine square as cos square. So this should become cos square 65 degrees. Then you can use the identity sine square theta plus cos square theta. So it's so. Uh, So it's cot theta into cot theta minus secant, oh, sorry, cosecant theta into cosecant theta plus write sine square 65 as it is and sine square 25 as you know that cos theta or cos not or sorry, it's sine square, right? So, yeah. so you know that sine theta can be written as cos 90 minus theta. Sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. When you square on both the sides, sine square theta is equal to cos square 90 minus theta. So what is sine square 25 degrees? Sine square 20, see here, sine square theta. Theta is 25. So sine square 25 degrees is cos square 90 minus 25. Sine square theta can be written as cos square 90 minus theta. So cos square 90 minus theta is 25. So 90 minus 25 is 65. So cos square is 65. So see now it looks like sine square theta plus cos square theta, which is one. So this is one. And in the last part of the expression. Oh, sorry. Okay. In the last part of the expression. Um, here. Tan 45, you can get the value from the table. Tan 45 is 1. You will have to group tan 5 degrees and tan 85 degrees. You must always group T ratios whose angles are complementary. 5 plus 85 is 90. 5 plus 85 is 90. So group them. 
tan 45, the value you can get from the table. You can get the value from the table. So see here, uh, we group uh, tan 5 and tan 45. Now using complementary ratios, tan 5 degrees is equal to, what is tan theta? Tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta. Why should you use this? Because we have tan 5 here, which is like tan theta. We have tan 5 here, which is like tan theta. So what is tan theta? Cot 90 minus theta. So cot 90 minus theta is 5. Write the other one. Change any one. Don't change both. You have paired, right? Tan 5 and tan 85. Change any one. You can change tan 85 or tan 5. Don't change both. So tan theta, which is tan 5, is cot 90 minus theta. Cot 90 minus 5, which is cot 85 in the next step. And this tan 85 can be written as 1 by cot 85 because tan this. So see here, one, one part is using complementary ratios. The other part is using reciprocal ratios because tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta. So literally we're using everything in trigonometry here in this answer. We're using the idea of complementary ratios, trigonometric identities, reciprocal ratios and the value from the table. Tan 45 is one. Everything. The value of tan 45 is one from the table. Then sine square 65 degrees plus cos square 65 degrees is one algebraic. Oh, sorry, trigonometric identity. Then uh, this part tan 90 minus theta is cot theta complementary ratios. And in many other places we use uh, complementary ratios. And reciprocal ratio, see here, tan 85 degrees is 1 by uh, cot 85 degrees. Reciprocal ratio. So this one answer using all the, you know, concepts in trigonometry. Yeah, this one. I'd ask you to complete it. All of you, uh, have you all written this in your notebook? This one and the next one, I think I asked you to complete it. Have you all completed? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, so we are given uh, AB. AB is 21 and BC plus AC is 49. We need to find sin A and seek in C. For A, opposite and adjacent is different from C. Opposite and adjacent for A is different from the opposite and adjacent for C. Okay. So we are given that BC plus AC is 49. See, it's not that you must write BC is 49 minus AC. You can also write AC is equal to 49 minus BC. Anything. You can write, you can, it's not that you must write BC only as 49 minus AC. You can also write AC is equal to 49 minus BC. Then use the Pythagoras theorem because uh, to find uh, the values of the T ratios, uh, we need to have all the you know the uh, the lengths of the three sides of the right triangle but here we only know ab is 21 or 21 centimeters we need to find uh, uh, the length of bc and ac we only know ab is 21 we need to find bc and ac so use trigna uh, use pythagoras theorem ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square uh, so why do we use Pythagoras theorem to find the missing sides BC and AC? So AC square is equal to see here AC. We don't know AC, no. See, this is this is the result by Pythagoras theorem. And let's now fill the values which we know. AC square we don't know. See here AC we don't know. AC square as it is. AB square yeah AB is 21, so 21 square plus BC. BC we don't know, but we have written BC in terms of AC. Why did we write like that? Because now this equation has only AC. Now this equation has only AC, so you can solve and find AC. So you can solve and find AC. 
use pythagoras theorem we only know ab is 21 ac ac we do not know bc we have written it in terms of ac 49 minus ac now this equation has only one unknown ac how do you expand this a minus b the whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square 21 square is 441 21 square is 441 now this one is like a minus b the whole square a square minus 2ab plus b square don't forget minus 2ab a minus b the whole square is not a square minus b square Twenty-one square is four forty-one, and then a minus b the whole square, forty-nine square, minus two into forty-nine into ac, two ab plus b square, ac square. So ac square on either side gets cancelled, and solve this and find the length of ac. ac is twenty-nine. Once you find ac, ac is twenty-nine. Forty-nine minus twenty-nine is bc. bc is twenty. So now you have found bc is twenty. And AC is twenty nine. Now sine A. What is sine A for A? This is the opposite side, and uh, this is the hypotenuse because it's opposite to the right angle. So sine A opposite by hypotenuse twenty by twenty nine. C can C. C can C is secant of this angle C. For C, this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. For angle C, this is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. Secant C is equal to hypotenuse by adjacent. Hypotenuse AC by adjacent BC. AC by BC. Twenty nine by twenty. This one I told you. Uh, we have secant theta plus tan theta is equal to P. Find the other equation. Secant theta minus tan theta will be one by P. If secant theta plus tan theta is p, secant theta minus tan theta is one by p. Because because we know that uh, secant square theta. Because we know that secant square theta minus tan square theta is one. We know that secant square theta minus tan square theta is one. So secant theta plus a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b is equal to one. Is equal to one, so you can see here. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is one. A square minus b square, so a plus b into a minus b. We are given that secant theta plus tan theta is p. So p into secant theta minus tan theta is one. So secant theta minus tan theta is one by p. Add the two equations, subtract the two equations. You will find uh, secant p. You will find the value. You will get the value of secant uh, theta and tan theta. And then find uh, sine theta. So how to find sine theta? You should go through. So this is about uh, the questions in this presentation. Yeah, write down, children. Evaluate this expression. Please write down. What we observe is all the angles are standard angles. All the angles are standard angles. So very easy. You just have to pull the values from the table. Get the value of sine thirty degrees from the table. All the values from the table. So substitute and simplify. Take down the question. Not blindly copy. Please don't copy blindly. So these are the values from the table. 
these are the values which we fetch from the table and then this is just simplification please work this you should understand lcm taking lcm lcm in the numerator this is the numerator lcm this is the denominator denominator here i've used a division symbol so this is the simplification of the numerator this is the denominator yeah after simplifying uh, you can see that the denominator is irrational <coughs> See your children, 2 root 3 and 2 root 3 gets cancelled. So this is the answer. 2 root 3 and 2 root 3 gets cancelled. This is the answer. 3 root 3 minus 4 by uh, 3 root 3 plus 4. That's the answer. But you see that the answer is, in the answer, the denominator is irrational. So you go on to rationalize the denominator. Actually, this is the answer. This is the answer. We got it. But since the denominator is irrational, we... Uh, use that procedure to rationalize the denominator. And this is the answer. You have to rationalize the denominator. Please work this, children. Work it very thoughtfully. LCM, understand what is done there. Any questions, please ask me.
and children no ma'am okay Now I am getting forty three plus twenty four root three by twelve. Really? Have I gone wrong somewhere? Ma'am, and I tried a different method, so I am not sure. Different method meaning? Uh, I wrote the values uh, for all of them, and then I took it as a minus b by a plus b uh, meaning uh, you grouped uh, these two is it yes ma'am 1 by 2 plus 1 as a and 2 by root 3 as b okay I need to and see you. Okay. Send the answer yeah, after. Yeah, that will be better. Correct, correct. Yes, yeah, yeah do that. Yeah. This one, since this material I've used uh, last year also, I think there should not be any mistake in this. Finish children. One minute. One minute, ma'am. Completed, ma'am. Yeah, okay. All right, so as I told you, uh, the first thing you should watch out for is uh, uh, the angles. So they are all standard angles, which means you can get their values from the table. So bring the values from the table. And then simplify the numerator LCM denominator also using LCM. And then uh, division becomes multiplication reciprocal. 2 root 3 and 2 root 3 gets cancelled. So this is the answer, but since the denominator is irrational, we rationalize it. And after rationalizing, so all this is, uh, you know, that process of rationalizing, and uh, this is the answer: 43 minus 24 root 3 by 11. So here, uh, if theta be an acute angle, and five cos uh, five cosecant theta is equal to seven, then evaluate sine theta plus cos square theta minus one. So see again, uh, we are given the value of one trigonometric ratio, 
we are given the value of one trigonometric ratio. We are given that phi cosecant theta is equal to seven. So that means cosecant theta is equal to seven by phi. See this phi. Cosecant uh, theta is not cosecant into theta. Cosecant into theta. But phi cosecant theta is definitely phi into cosecant theta. Phi and cosecant theta are separable. Phi cosecant theta meaning phi into cosecant theta. So secant, uh, sorry, phi cosecant theta is 7. So which means cosecant theta is equal to 7 by 5. Phi comes to the other side for division. 7 by 5. So now what? When you have the value of 1t ratio, use the right triangle, right triangle, say mark this as theta, and cosecant theta connects the uh, hypotenuse and the opposite side. It's a reciprocal of sine. Cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. So it connects the hypotenuse and the opposite side. So this is the hypotenuse, 7. And the opposite side, opposite to theta, this is 5. So next what? We'll have to use Pythagoras theorem and find this side. And then uh, now that we know all the three sides of the triangle, find the value of uh, cos square theta, cos theta or cos square theta. Substitute the values and get it. That's one way. Let me see how I've worked it. OK, yeah, OK, I've not worked that method here. You can do it like this. All of you understand? Did all of you get that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, so I said you can use the right triangle. But what I've, the, the, uh, the answer in the slide is like this. So since uh, we have, you can do it using a right triangle. That's one of the ways. So now cosecant theta is equal to 7 by 5. So that means sine theta is equal to what? If cosecant theta is 7 by 5, what is uh, sine theta? Yeah, what is sine theta, children? Five by seven. Five by seven. Five by seven. Now, what is the other value you need to find? Cos theta, right? Or cos square theta, correct? Yes, ma'am. The other value we need to find is cos square theta or cos theta. Okay. So, how do you find uh, cos square theta? We know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. We know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Using this, you can find the value of cos square theta. Using this, you can find the value of cos square theta. Substitute here. 5 by 7 the whole square plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So from this, you can find the value of cos square theta. So now you know the value of sine theta is 5 by 7. And using this identity, you can find the value of cos square theta. So sine theta is 5 by 7, cos square theta we can find using this identity, minus 1, and simplify. <laughs> so here again, it's a different, so one minute, I'm not confusing you because I need to show you that slide, I have to tell you this. Yeah. So I told you the first method is using a right triangle. The first method is by using a right triangle, finding the unknown side using Pythagoras theorem, and then finding sine theta and uh, cos theta. In fact, sine theta we already have because we have cosecant theta, the reciprocal is sine theta. So we only have to find cos, and we can uh, get it from the right triangle, sub substitute the values and evaluate. Okay, then I told you that you can also use sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 and find the value of cos square theta. What in the slide it is? So sine square theta. So here it is cos square theta minus 1. How do you get cos square theta minus 1 from this? How do we get cos square theta minus 1 from this? When you push this here and when you bring this here. So what is cos square theta minus 1 is equal to minus sine square theta? Am I right using this identity? Cos square theta yes, minus ma 1. Yeah. Cos square theta minus 1. Cos square theta minus 1 is minus sine square theta. Just transpose. 
why we doing this because here we have cos square theta minus 1 sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 on transposing we get cos square theta minus 1 is equal to minus sin square theta so cos square theta minus 1 is equal to we know that cosecant theta is 7 by 5 so sin theta is equal to 5 by 7 reciprocal so minus sin square theta minus sin square theta that is 5 by 7 the whole square so like this you can get the value of cos square theta minus 1 straight away that's what you see here that is what you see here children please work it mom we can do it in the alternate method also mom that you just got right triangle no yes yeah, any method please yes yes i'll yes please use the right triangle all of you can do that if you want to use the right triangle use the right triangle and see if you're getting the same answer please do that from cosecant theta you can directly get sin theta reciprocal using the right triangle you only have to find cos theta and cos square theta is the square of that work it Done, children. No, ma'am. Okay.
ma'am. Uh, is it uh, 20 by 49, ma'am? 20 by 49. Oh, I'm getting 10 by 49. Yes, ma'am, I made a mistake. Yeah. Okay. So this simplifies to 10 by 49. All if you get that. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Very good. So the next one, if sign A is equal to if sign A is equal to root 3 by 2. So here, children, yeah, I didn't I should share this with you. Now here we have uh, cosecant theta is equal to 7 by 5. Now this value cosecant theta is equal to 7 by 5. We don't see in the table. So you cannot identify the value of theta here. Cosecant theta is equal to 7 by 5. The values uh, in the cosecant table, cosecant 0 degrees, cosecant 30, cosecant 45, you will not find 7 by 5 there. So you cannot, using that, using the values on the table, you cannot find the value of theta. So we use a right triangle. We use a right triangle and simplify. Now here, you can use a right triangle here also. Whenever the value of one T ratio is given to you, you can apply, you can use a right triangle and put this information in the right triangle. Now the trigonometric ratio will connect two sides. So put those two values in the right triangle and find the third side using Pythagoras theorem. And then proceed with whatever you have to evaluate. Now here, sine A, sine A is equal to root 3 by 2. Now when is it root 3 by 2 in the sine table? Sine 60 degrees, yes. So here you can find the value of A. What's the value of A? A is equal to 60 degrees. A is equal to 60 degrees. So now we need to find 2 cot square A. That is 2 cot square 60 degrees minus 1. And what is cot 60? What's the value of cot 60? What is tan 60? Root 3. So cot 60 will be 1 by root 3. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Tan 60 degrees is equal to root 3. So cot 60 degrees will be the reciprocal of tan 60 degrees. 1 by root 3. So it will be 2 into... 1 by root 3, the whole square, because cot square 60 degrees, minus 1. Yeah. Work this children. Finish children. So sine A is equal to root 3 by 2. Sine 60 is root 3 by 2. So instead of root 3 by 2, we write sine 60. On comparing both the sides, we have A is 60 degrees. So 2 cot square A means 2 cot square 60 degrees minus 1. Let's see if we get the same answer when we use the right triangle. 
Okay, so we'll, I'll just do it very roughly. So right triangle, uh, A, B, C, A, B, C, and this is A, this is A, this is the acute angle A, sine A is opposite by hypotenuse. This is opposite root 3 by hypotenuse 2. Sin A is equal to opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite. This is opposite side. So root 3. Hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse 2. Opposite by hypotenuse. Root 3 by 2. Opposite root 3 hypotenuse 2. Now we'll find AB using Pythagoras theorem. So AB will be equal to square root of this one square. 2 square 4 minus this one square. Root 3 the whole square. So 3. So root 4 minus 3 is 1. Root 1 which is 1. So this one is 1. A, B is 1. Now we'll find cot A. What is cot A? Cot A connects the op adjacent side and the opposite side. Cot A is equal to adjacent by opposite. Cot A is equal to adjacent by opposite. So which is the adjacent side or the side adjacent to A? This is the side adjacent to A. a. B. Yeah, A, B, A, B. Good. A, B. By opposite, B, C. So which is? 1 by root 3. So we got the value of cot A, 1 by root 3. And what is cot square A then? 1 by root 3, the whole square, which is 1 by 3. Cot square A will be 1 by root 3, the whole square, which is 1 by 3. So now substitute 2 into same thing. That's what we worked here. So you can use a right triangle, not that if it's a standard value, you have to find the angle, nothing like that. You can always use a right triangle. Whenever one T ratio is given to you, the value of one T ratio is given to you, you can find the values of the other T ratios using a right triangle always. We can also use trigonometric uh, uh, identities always, but that will be a little time consuming. Or if you can find the angle, Find the angle. This is the third one. If sine, if sine theta minus cos theta is equal to one by two, find sine theta plus cos theta. So again, that identity is very important. The question is here, children. Write on the question. Please write down the question. Question alone is all the whole sum. No, I have to explain the answer. Yeah, yeah. Just write the question. Up. Okay, let me show you this slide. Yeah. So this identity, we already know this. A plus B the whole square minus A minus B the whole square is equal to 4AB. I'll tell you why we are not using this. The other one is a plus b the whole square plus a minus b the whole square is equal to 2 of a square plus b square. Now let's use, uh, uh, you know, sine theta in place of a and cos theta in place of b. Let's use sine theta in place of a and cos theta in place of b in this identity, in this identity. So tell me, a is sine theta, b is cos theta. So Yeah, sine theta plus cos theta the whole square plus sine theta minus cos theta the whole square is equal to again Ramnathan come again. 2 into sine theta uh, square sine theta plus cos theta the whole square. No. I'm 2 into sine square theta plus 2 into cos square theta. So 2 is a square. So sine theta the whole square, which is sine square theta plus b square. b is cos theta. So b square is cos theta the whole square. Cos square theta. Ramnathan cos b is cos theta. b is cos theta. b square. So is cos square theta. A is sine theta. A square is sine square theta. Sine theta, the whole square is nothing but sine square theta. 
All of you understand this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now the reason for using this identity is we know the value of sine theta minus cos theta. What is the value of sine theta minus cos theta? One by two. One by two. One. What is the value? Very good. What is the value of sine square theta plus cos square theta? One. 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 Now, what should you find in uh, according to the question? What are we supposed to find? Sine theta plus cos sin theta. theta plus cos theta. We are supposed to find sine theta plus cos theta. So here, see, we have to find sine theta plus cos theta. We know the value of sine theta minus cos theta and sine square theta plus cos square theta. Simple. Just use this identity, substitute the known values to find the unknown. And this identity, a square plus b square is sine square theta plus cos square theta, which is 1. So these are the two identities which we have uh, involving a plus b, a minus b. A plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square is this one. We don't use this. We use a second one. <clears throat> so using the algebraic identity, I think uh, I've explained enough. This is easy for you to understand. Please work. Instead of A, we say sine theta. And for B, we say cos theta. Excuse me. Done, children? Yeah. So using this algebraic identity, uh, we use uh, sine theta in place of A. Wherever there is A, we say sine theta. And wherever there is B, we say cos theta. So we reconstruct this algebraic identity uh, with A as uh, sine theta and B as cos theta. That's how we get this. As I told you, we need to find the value of sine theta plus cos theta. We know the value of sine theta minus cos theta, 1 by 2. And this by the identity is 1. Done? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So here, if uh, root 3 cot square theta minus 4 cot theta plus root 3 is 0, then find the value of cot square theta plus tan square theta. 
So now you can make out, you cannot use a right triangle here. You cannot use a right triangle here because uh, you do not know the value of any T ratio of theta. Now, what you should observe in this uh, equation given is that like a quadratic equation, we have cot square theta like x square. We have cot theta like x and we have a constant. So now if we replace, if we say let cot theta be equal to x, supposing we say let cot theta be x, let cot theta be x. See what makes us say this? Because we see cot square theta here, cot square theta here like x square, and we see cot theta here like x, and we see a constant here. So we are trying to, uh, you know, make this one look like a quadratic equation in x, for which we say let cot theta be equal to x. So if cot theta is x, then this equation can be read as root 3 x square minus 4x plus root 3 is equal to 0. So like that we, uh, you know, construct a quadratic equation in x. We'll split the middle term, solve, and find the values of x. Once you get the values of x, so you get x is equal to something, x is equal to something. So who is x? Cot theta. Cot theta. So you will get two values of x. Which are the two values of cot theta? So once you get the values of cot theta, we'll find the value of theta. We'll find the value of theta. For example, we get say uh, one value of x uh, says uh, root three. Supposing one value of x is root three. X is equal to root three, but x is cot theta. So cot theta is root three. If cot theta is root three, when is it root three in the cot table? Cot of what angle is root three? So where is it uh, root 3 in the tan table? Tan of what angle is root 3? Tan 60 degrees is root 3. Sorry, 1 by root 3. When is it 1 by root 3 in the tan table? Tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3. So cot 30 degrees will be root 3. Reciprocal. If it is root 3 in the cot table, it will be 1 by root 3 in the tan table. When is it 1 by root 3 in tan? Tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3. Tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 1 by root 3. Which means cot 30 degrees will be root 3. So cot 30 degrees. Root 3 is cot 30 degrees. I think next class, what I suggest is I'll tell you. I'll let me finish this and tell you. So theta is equal to 30 degrees. Theta is 30 degrees. You can see here. Uh, this is the equation given. Let cot theta be x. Quadratic equation. Splitting the middle term. Grouping. And finding the values of x. So if x is root 3, that means cot theta is root 3. Cot theta is root 3. That means cot theta is cot 30, which means theta is 30 degrees. So when theta is 30 degrees, we have to evaluate this expression. We'll have to find the value of cot square 30 plus, uh, sorry, cot square theta plus tan square theta, which means cot square 30 plus tan square 30. This is what it is. And when uh, x is 1 by root 3, if x is 1 by root 3, it means cot theta is 1 by root 3 because x is cot theta. So x is 1 by root 3, meaning cot theta is 1 by root 3. So 1 by root 3 is cot 60 degrees. 1 by root 3 is cot 60 degrees, which means theta is equal to 60. So when theta is 60, what is the value of this one? Cot square 60 plus tan square 60, which is again 10 by 3.
Are we all writing? Yes, yes. Yeah. Let me know once done. Done, children. Okay. Yeah, it's time. Yeah. So children, I did not say much about this. See, so uh, quadratic, we convert, this is a quadratic equation in cot theta. Like we say a quadratic equation in X. Like we say a quadratic equation in X or quadratic equation in Y. This is a quadratic equation in cot theta. See, you need not use X also. You can just split the middle term as minus uh, 3 cot theta minus cot theta also. You can just split the middle term as minus 3 cot. I'm just telling you. So if you're comfortable, you can you need you, you even need not use X. You can just uh, like you like it's X square and X it's cot square theta and cot theta here. So you can split the middle term as minus uh, 3 cot theta and minus cot theta. So straight away you will get uh, the values of cot theta. So I have replaced cot theta with x so that you know it's uh, easy for all of us to understand. So this is a quadratic equation next. We split the middle term, grouping and finding the two values of x. So x is nothing but cot theta. X is cot theta. So cot theta is root 3, cot theta is 1 by root 3. So here we handle both the cases. When it is root 3, when it is 1 by root 3. And for both the values uh, of theta, we evaluate uh, cot square theta plus tan square theta. So cot square theta plus tan square theta when theta is 30 degrees, uh, cot square theta plus tan square theta when theta is 60 degrees. In both the cases, it's 10 by 3. Take a screenshot of this one, children. We'll discuss the answer in the next class. I think this is two slides. No, only one slide here. Yeah, please complete this answer. I'll explain this in the next class. All right. Took a screenshot. Yes, ma'am. Yes, all right. All right. Uh, class, use the emoji. Raise your hand. Anya. Anya. Uh, Sneha, Harini, Nandini, Rajarajeshwari, Tarun Murali, Murali, Krishna, Priyanka, Kanishka, and Ram Nagan. All right, children. Yeah, so that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.